Hello everybody, my name is Robert Rewind, and welcome back to a brand new series. This is the game of Stellaris. We have all been waiting for it. It is, it is from Paradox, it is a grand strategy, and it is in space. I love space. Space is amazing. Um, wait, one second. Something's not going right over here in the background. Okay, is it now? There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Um, okay, so one thing I did not actually check over here is this. Refresh rate. Uh, that's good. That seems okay. Yeah, okay, sure. Yes, so Grand Strategy in Space made by Klaus Wiz. I believe they made uh, Europa, Europa Universals 4 and Paradox Interactive. So we're going to go over here and begin. We're going to click New Empire. We're going to make a new empire. Right. The appearance of my species. Okay. Oh, look at all this. Right. So, everyone is kind of excited for this game. We have all been waiting and been watching when it comes out. And it came out today. I actually bought it just about an hour ago. I didn't know exactly what time it was going to come out. So, I bought it. Like, I since I bought it, I bought it before it came out. So, it came out as a pre-order. So, I ended up getting some of the extra pre-order stuff. But, we're not going to look at that right now. Maybe, maybe we will. I don't know. I'm just a little. I'm just a little bit excited to play this game because I've been waiting. Right. So we can go here as humans. Ooh, interesting. Okay, reptilian. So we're gonna make our own empire because that's why not. Seems like fun. So I'm just kind of going here, clicking around and seeing what's really good. Ah, look at this. Look at this. Anthrop. Uh, Arthropoid pod, whatever. This guy, he reminds me from uh, Monsters Inc. What was his name? Sid or something? The the one that could go invisible. That's him right there. Oh boy, so I'm just excited. I want to get into this game already. This looks like oh that looks ugly. Excuse me. Uh, fungoid. It could be a mushroom. Where's the mushroom? There's the mushroom. Yeah, these are all mushrooms here. Ew. I'm gonna go with my mammalian. <laughs> Okay, so we have humans, we have furries, we have like a monkey type of thing, like an ox if you will, some, these look weird. Look at the great old cats, oh, that looks ugly. Wow, okay. Reptilian. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a good one. These guys look like from like they belong in XCOM. You know the sectoids from X XCOM Two. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh hell no! <laughs> wow. So I've been waiting, and I actually this this actually came out a perfect timing with for me because I just finished up. I, I actually literally just finished recording. Uh, what's it called? FTL faster than light. I just finished up my series. So this just came out in the meantime I was finishing that series and I, since I already bought it it was downloading in the background and That's amazing because now I just finished that and Now I move straight on. I was actually a little bit worried that I wouldn't have something to record Ooh, Look at that guy So I was like, excuse me. I got a god Okay So I was actually a little bit worried that uh, that I wouldn't have I would be panicking actually not panicking but I was worried that I didn't have anything to record after I finished up the episode I was gonna have to look around for something these guys look kind of weird you, you remind me of something you remind me of um, your head looks familiar it looks like something oh my goodness no that's terrifying so these are basically space bugs. Oh, oh no, 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 go away. These are basically space slugs, basically. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, you look freaky. Fungoid. Yeah, we're still looking over here. We're looking for the perfect species. I mean, we could just go as, as humans over here. But do we really want to do that? Actually, maybe. 
reptilian. I don't. I'm kind of feeling. I'm feeling like a bird vibe to it. Look at this guy. I really like the way how this guy looks. He doesn't look that bad. No. This guy, like that. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, no, ew, I don't know, this, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this guy, or the humans. Well, why not, let's do, let's do a human playthrough, let's, let's do that for now, and see what, what, what happens. Okay, so, continental world here, we could choose what world, so the way how this works is, um, the way how this works is, since we choose a continental world, we'll be very bad on the arid world, I believe, is it? Yeah, so, it's just... Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. Why don't we do this? We could do this. We could try to make the human empire, but I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. I don't know, I didn't think about this. I didn't think about it as much as I probably should have. Let's go with something. Okay, okay. Let's. I, I got this. Let's go with something that. Well, no, we already decided on human anyway, so that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, nope. Whoa, you change. Whoa. Wait. You changed. Ruler. Dude, because we're a guy. Will that actually? change some of these appearances um, appearance ruler oh we could actually do this because change our actual we need some hair we need some good hair oh that looks good let's just keep looking clothes we could change our clothes okay so we're gonna go with humans we're gonna be humans the humans of earth the humans Ooh. Okay, I'm digging this one. He is male. We're gonna do that. We need a name, right? Okay, a name, a name, a name, a name, a name. Wait, is this the rewind? We're gonna no. Hmm. We're gonna do something. The chosen ones. How's that? Will be the human chosen ones. The a few generations after the modern world of us right now. The chosen ones. The humans, the chosen ones. Um, I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Chosen ones. Oh wait. Cause plural this will be chosen ones. Adjective. The chosen. And there you go, like this. Chosen one. The wait, I just want to see how this looks. Okay. Okay. Name. Okay. 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 Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. So. Oops. I am terrible at typing. I am so sorry. Chosen ones. The plural will be chosen ones. Our adjective and our adjective. Adjective will be chosen. Yes, close enough. That looks good to me. Right. So we're good with appearance. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go on. Okay. Actually, we should look at this. Uh huh. Continental. Okay, well, yes, because we're going to be the follow-up to Earth, so that's going to be, yeah. Okay, sure, that, the soul system, there you go. Like I said, we're going to be the predecessors of of Earth, not predecessors, would it be predecessors? I think so, yes, uh, okay. We can, we're the next generation, basically, that's what we're going to go for. Look at this, Locky. Ooh. Human. Ooh. 
Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll go, why not? We'll go with that. I kind of like that. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's actually take a look at all of them. I want to make sure I get all of them. They look pointy. I, I like I like the what's it called? The adjective. I like the way how they named that group there. Round. Mm-hmm. Zoological. Ooh, that looks nice. So either that one or where is it? Where, where was the other one? The other one was human, right? Okay, yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll be Earth. Primary color. What's the primary color? Okay, so how is it? The red is middle for ours, and the secondary is blue, but there's no white. Huh. We gotta find one that suits us. What's the primary color? The primary color is that one. All blue? And all blue? No. Hmm. We'll do this. And for our sake, we'll change it up. Uh, I don't know. What about this? Hey, wait, isn't that what we just started with? That's probably is what we started. Um, actually, zoological. Let's go back to that one. That looks nice, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Hmm. I wish there were a little bit more stuff here. Because that would be a whole lot better. No secondary color. No, that looks ugly. There's no white, unfortunately. Um. Just, just for sake of different colors, we're gonna have this. It isn't really what our, what my little emblem is, or not emblem, but little picture is. So, we'll just do that. Okay, so we already finished the name list. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I could name other stuff later on, so I'm not gonna touch that yet. Okay, so pick generic traits for your species. Trait points left, and I could pick two. All right, so what I wanna be, um, these traits, okay, so these traits are, What's it called? They allow you to. They they define on your what your government will be, and stuff. So how it will work. So determining what type of governments, I believe, this also helps, and the traits also help. Like let's say there's one I know for sure is. Um, where is it? That makes you strong. No, it's not strong. It's uh, makes you live long. Yeah, see, enduring. Yeah, they're unusually long. Let's do that because since we're gonna be the next ones, we're gonna be, since we're gonna be the next ones, we're gonna, we are expected to have more life. Oh, that's really good. This one, ooh, I don't have that. Okay, I, okay, so, well, okay, I don't think we need this. Yeah, we could just do enduring. There you go. So 30 years sounds good to me. We could be... Oh, resilient. Dead No. We don't need that. Ethics divergence. Yes, so uh, we're going to get to that right now. So I'll tell you about that. Chrismat we could be charismatic. No, don't care. We could be solitary. Not nomad. I don't know about nomadic. Not weak. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. We could be strong, very strong. Uh, we'll do that. We'll be quick learners. And yeah. Rapid breeders, I guess. Because we do have a population thing. Yeah, so we'll be a, so we'll be very. This this is what we what we do. We'll be enduring because we do have a lot of people, or not a lot, but we do have some people in our world that live up to past one hundred, and we're gonna assume that they were able to pass their genetics on and make our species enduring. We were strong because I'm pretty sure these people were strong for a good part of their lives. 
and they were quick learners. There are a lot of people who tend to be quick, quick learners and rapid breathers. There you go. Ruler. I already did this, didn't I? Yes. So we're gonna name. I need a name, don't I? Oh. Oh, wait, we actually can't because we're already over this. Okay. So I guess I'll just take it, get rid of that and. Hmm. Society output. Ooh, natural engineers. Intelligent. Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, we can only get one of these. So I know if we take a bad trait that they. Uh. I know if we take a bad trait, we get a few points back. So. We could be strong and enduring. Actually, um, I don't know if I want this other one. We could be intelligent. And, or industrious. You know what? I think that's fine. This, yeah, that should be good. Really, really did that. Name and class. Yes, we already messed, we already messed with this earlier. The soul system, home world name will be named Earth, and the star name is Sol because that is the name of our Sith. Okay, so we get to change it. Metallian city here. Reptilian. Avian, Molluscoid city, Fungoid, or Anthropod. We're gonna go with Maptalian, Mammalian because or Mammalian. There you go. Excuse me, because that's just that's just like I said, Earth going full Earth. Government and ethics. Now this is pretty interesting because this here is your ethics, and these become unlocked by what you choose here. So. Look, if I click on this, let's say military list, all of this becomes very uh, open. This becomes open, and if I unselect it, it goes away. Now, if I click on fanatic military list, or actually, hold on, let me click on this and this for now. So, since I clicked individual list, I lose despotic empire. Right, so what are we gonna choose? So, humans like technology. So I think we're gonna become very, you know, like a very technological type of person or not person, but uh, which one's the one that had materialist society? Yeah, I think this will be it. Yeah, okay, I should have asked. So we'll be materialist. We'll be a materialist. We can also be a fanatic, which does even more, but I don't think the fanatic is really worth it because I could get another trait instead as well. And another thing I have, I have also noticed is we could be individualist or we could also be materialist. Okay, now check that. If, since we got materialist, we cannot get spiritualist. Oh, yeah, see, see no, see, it doesn't let us. Oh, look at all the backgrounds. So as you notice, as I'm changing it, oh, excuse me. Yeah, as I change it, you can see what it begins to look like in the background. Well, pacifist does absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. All right. So we're going to go with this materialist and perhaps. Collectivist. No, because we're very, we're very, we tend to look out for ourselves for the most part. There you go. I think points left. I got one more. Okay, so we could become a fanatic. We could pick another one, a third slave. Not third slave, this. There you go. Which one do I want? No. You know what? That's fine. We'll pick that. That'll be our background. So we'll be. Militarists who are individualists who seek themselves look out for themselves and that are materialists because that's literally what a good point of the human Sorry, right. So now we got to find out how our ethics will be we could kick a pick a military republic holds an election every five years Army upkeep goes down ship upkeep and war happiness goes up Military Juna 
So they hold an election every 40 to 50 years to a new ruler. So that'll be 10 minus 10 and two. Well, that's just not that bad. So we'll actually lower the cost of stuff. We could be a direct democracy every five years. Core sector plan is giving me two. Ah, okay. So this one again. So research alternatives plus one and leader capacity, empire leader capacity is one. Okay, so since it's kind of shows right here, it's showing some um, very, it's showing some, so what's it called? Uh, it's similar to CK2 because you as the leader of the country or empire cannot manage every single county or duchy. You have to kind of be more of like the kingdom. You have to hold a certain amount of titles. And if you start holding so many, there ends up being unhappiness. And since they're unhappy, they begin to revolt. They don't pay you taxes and you can't raise armies. So this is exactly what's going on here too. Okay, what's this one? Indirect democracy. Uh, that one's okay. This is more of the um, like American system. And Greece had more of a direct democracy. A plutonic oligarchy. We get five energy credits and five materials. And this one, I don't know. I'm kind of liking the science directorate. So it would be a militaristic individual materialist that have a science directorate thing. I'm going to go with that because I think that's okay. And it says, this government is a materialistic form of oligarchy where a community of scientists supervises the government apparatus for maximum efficiency. And that gives us one plus, plus one research alternative and plus one leader, empire leader capacity. So the scientists are in charge, basically. Yep. Name. What was our empire name? I don't remember what our name is. The chosen one. The chosen one. Oops. Adjective. Chosen. That's what I put, right? Yes. I know we could probably pick something better. That probably doesn't make sense with this, which actually bothers me. That looks actually a little bit better, but that looks more of an alien-y. You know what? I really like this one. So I think we're going to go with that. There you go. Because we are military list. We're not Earth, peace, and stuff. So, flag. Oh, we already did that. Starting weapons. Okay. Starting weapons. Projectile weapons. So we have three options here. Either between projectile, missile, or energy weapons. We are very good at projectile. Guns. You know, missiles as well. We don't have that many way in the way of energy weapons. We really don't. But we're going to see. Because remember, this is next generation, basically. Or a few generations down, I should say. Okay, so mass drivers that use electromagnetic catapults to accelerate projectiles towards a target at blinding speeds. While somewhat limited in range, their kinetic energy and high rate of fire chew through shields with ease. Okay, so missile weapons. Space-to-space -space missiles armed with nuclear warheads. Missiles have an excellent range, but are vulnerable to interception by point defense systems. Hmm, I don't know about if I, if I like that. Energy weapons. These energy direct or these direct energy weapons emit focused laser beams at the targets. They are effective at medium to close range, largely ignoring the bulk of enemy armor. So what I could end up seeing right now is since I haven't played the game yet, this is literally my, gonna be my first playthrough with you guys. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess I mean I guess in the end it really doesn't matter because we will be, you know. Uh, well, eventually technology would happen and stuff. Um, I guess we'll go with. Uh, I don't like the. We'll go with missile because I don't like the range. The the range, eh? Right. So FTL faster than light, which I just ended that end that one. Right. Warp travel is for new players. The warp drive generator generates a subspace bubble around a ship, making faster than light speeds attainable. This allows for free but relative slow travel between stars, given the dis great distances involved. We can also choose hy hyperspace travel. Hyperspace drive allows ships to temporarily breach the dimension of hyperdrive. Interstellar travel is fast but limited to existing paths along the hyperlane network. Or we can also cho choose the wormhole travel. Wormhole generators gener 
wormhole generators tunnel through subspace and establish a conduit between two points permitting travel across vast distances. These large generators are too big to be fitted on ships requiring a special wormhole stations to operate. Um, just for the sake of gameplay and for me, we're going to click on warp travel because that one seems, it even says easy for new players. So we're going to go with that. Ship appearance. Mammalian ships, retaliation ships, avian ships, anthropod ships, fungoid ships, or mulluscoops. We are going human, so there it is. So let's save this. Chosen one saved successfully. Alright, so next. This is just a little overview of us, and we are done. Yes, okay, so the galaxy star is 600 stars. Holy crap, that is a lot. The galaxy shape is elliptical. Um, Ruby spiral because the AI empire 17. Sure, the advanced AR four. Yeah, that sounds good. Normal. Sure. Any. Yeah. Iron mode. Yes. We're gonna leave it off. Okay. So let us click play. We are starting a new game. Ooh, this is exciting. This is not. A, this picture here is not of the Earth, or at least doesn't seem like it with all the these things here and stuff these kind of do in the background but the buildings but these these almost look more like uh avian or fungoid right this looks more mammalian more of a human the chosen ones right so our government is a science directive ruler we didn't choose a name for it didn't we oh well that's fine mr blank um Species method is warp travel. Capital is Earth. Our ethics are individualist, uh, materialist, and militarist. Our traits are enduring, strong, and continental prefer preference is for continental four hours. We, we're good at tropical and ocean. We're okay with that. The ones that really kind of hurt us are Arctic and the desert. In the, uh, um, excuse me. In the eons since the first primitive chosen ones communities took shape on the grassy savannas of earth our civilization has spread and prospered through scientific progress we have managed to stamp out the superstitions that rule the minds of our ancestors as reason and rational thought spread among our people the ineffective nation states that we had until then organized ourselves into or disbanded and a council of our most accomplished scientists was gathered to rule in their stead. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the greatest minds of the chosen ones have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. All right, begin. Greetings, director. I am Veer. A Hello. type synthetic intelligence developed by the oh, finest hey. beings of our civilization to serve as your advisor. I shall endeavor to perform my duties with the utmost efficiency. I can use advice. Well, I will provide tips. Uh, that's actually really bad. I should have picked the other one. <laughs> you explore them. Um, good to know. Okay, so this is our map here. So let's take a look at this. Oh, we can zoom in. We can really zoom in. Mercury. Mercury, you don't look like that. You don't really look like that. Ooh, okay, so we got Venus over here. Talks world. That's rather accurate, I would say. The sun looks... Yeah, it's a yellow star, so... Yep. Yeah. Earth. What do you use? Oh, it actually does look like Earth. Is there a way it could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just click? Whoa. I, cl I must have... Whoa. This looks awesome. Sol. Okay. Alpha Centauri. Yeah. Barnard Star. Yeah. Yeah. Sirius. Yeah. Okay. So where are we relative? Okay. So I don't think we're actually here in the real game. In the real world. We're kind of like over here. Or we're, we're, we're pretty far out of the solar of the galaxy in reality. We're nowhere near as close. Right. So. We don't really have a, a way to expand outward. So we could go this way or this way. 
Yeah, okay, so let me Q. What did I press last time? E. There you go. Oh, yeah, that is Earth. Continental is the exact, is like Earth. Yeah, you can see that's the sub Arabia and Palinsa. Africa right there. Earth, that's Egypt. This is Asia over here. India. Oh, wait, wait. The moon. I didn't take a look at the moon. Whoa. Look at you. Luna. Yeah, it is a barren world. Vesta, Juno, Ceres. Yep, Ceres. Playas. Saturn. Wow, they actually did really good on this. The graphics? Titan. Yeah, that's really, really actually the one of the only significant ones there. Triton. I didn't, oh, I didn't think they were um, include Triton. I would say Neptune looks a little bit more bluer than this, but I'm not going to complain. Triton is actually um, in a retrograde orbit, so it's actually slowing down, which means our moon is in a, what's it called, not retrograde, but prograde orbit, which means it orbits the, the Earth and actually gains slowly three inches, is no, three centimeters, excuse me, three centimeters away from Earth every single year. And Triton, so that means that means the moon is speeding up, uh, and Triton over here is slowing down. So eventually, it either will crash into Neptune and be totally destroyed, or it will hit a certain point, I cannot remember the name of that line, of the point, but where the gravity is so strong, it begins to tear it apart. So that's what's going to happen to Triton over there. Mars, do you have your little asteroid dudes around you? Not really, and as far as I could tell, this looks like a rather accurate, because there's the giant canyon of Mars. Yeah, Uranus. It's a little bit more solid. It's not Jupiter looking, but I'm not, I'm not criticizing Jupiter. We do got speaking of Jupiter. Yep, that's Jupiter. Io, um, I thought Io was a frozen world. I know Europa is. Yeah, she's. It's a frozen world. Callisto is also a frozen world. Ganymede. Yeah, this is the one that has all the colors on it. Right. So enough of that. Let's see what we got here. Empire. The Empire screen lists the planets of our empire, with leaders and the different factions in separate tabs. It also lets us create and manage sectors. Okay. Thank you. So this is our Earth. It has. We have a food surplus, so that's good. This, I'm guessing this is our, what's this? This is our planet size? Okay. So we have a planet size of 16. We have, we produce nine energy, uh, produce 9.4 materials. We have zero influence right now. Mm -hmm. Zero physics and zero science size. Zero research right now at the moment. This is our governor. Pop, oh, population. Ah, oh, okay. Modules. Ooh, okay. In the contact screen, we see a detailed list of all the various empires we have encountered. Their opinions of us are visible at a glance, and we can quickly and easily engage in diplomacy. Thank you. Okay, so this is where we're gonna. Have, this is where we see the other alien races that have come upon us. But that is it for this episode because that was mostly a creation of Earth, basically, and stuff, and the life on it, like humans, at least the next generation, next era of humans if you will so that uh, maybe i did mess up with the name i don't know i probably should have just gone with the earth empire or whatever but that's fine it's just a game we'll play that next next time next time so yes so thank you guys all for watching if you would like your name in this video this is actually a really good opportunity because it's a new series new things get to be named new places get to be seen so if you would like something to be named after you all you gotta do is just comment just comment, just drop a little comment. And since it is the beginning of a new series, why not drop a like and subscribe? You know, so you don't miss up, so, no, so you don't miss out on this playthrough. That is it. That, so unfortunately, that's all I have for today for my time, because I'm already over my limits here. So thank you all for watching. My name is Robert Rewind. Don't forget to rewind, and thanks for watching.